Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. If you clicked on today's video, chances are you are needing some cleaning motivation and that is exactly what you are going to get in today's three hour cleaning marathon. My marathon videos are by far my most popular videos here on my channel, so I do always like to post an updated one every couple of months. I know a lot of you like to put this video up on your phone or your TV and clean along with me, and this video gives you three hours of non-stop motivation to get all of your cleaning done without having to worry about switching back and forth between different videos. I have compiled eight of my newest cleaning videos that are full of deep cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and everything in between, so you have tons of motivation coming your way. If you have watched my channel before, you may have seen a few of these videos, but if you have missed some or are wanting to catch up, this is a great way to do that. And if you are new here, this is the perfect video for you because you can see what my channel is all about and I really hope you love it and choose to subscribe down below to join the amazing community that we have here. If you are new, my name is Aaliyah and I am a mom to three young kids. I do have a two, four, and six-year-old. We are a family of five with two dogs as well. So as you can imagine, my house is very lived in and in a constant state of chaos. I definitely share the real messes that come along with being a mom and trying to maintain my home. Each week, I feel like I have a never-ending list of things to do and messes to clean up, so that is a majority of what you will find here on my channel. We are also currently in the middle of making our house a home, so you will find the occasional room makeover or DIY video thrown into the mix. I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday, and I would love for you to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Hello you guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be full of cleaning and decluttering motivation. We are starting off in the kids' bedrooms and I am really excited to be filming in these. I did also want to start today's video off by just saying thank you so much for all of the love on these bedroom makeover videos. We put so much work and time and effort into them and I am just so happy that you guys have enjoyed them. But now that these bedrooms are done, we might be taking a little break from the home improvements and I'm probably going to start focusing on some seasonal decorating and just getting my house back in order as school approaches. But Justin and I were already discussing that now that the kids have nicer bedrooms than we do, we will probably have a master bedroom refresh coming your way in the next few months. But for today, we are going to be focusing on some cleaning, some decluttering, and also some back to school prep. So I really hope you all enjoy this one. Change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. As I'm sure you probably noticed from the before clips, but the girls have definitely moved into here. They have been loving playing in here and they've been dragging all of the toys and the blankets from around the house and in the playroom into their bedroom, which I am so happy that they are loving having their own space, but I was ready to give it a really good clean and just reset their bedroom for the week ahead. So now that I have all of the toys picked up, I'm just quickly going through and dusting all of the furniture off. I'm going to be 
be giving it a really good vacuum and then we're actually going to be emptying out their dresser they have so many clothes and pajamas and their dresser is starting to overflow so I want to declutter that get rid of everything that no longer fits them and I'm also going to be taking inventory for what they need for the year ahead Front porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. I am going to be starting off on Quinn's side of the dresser and she has a ton of shorts and I know I'm probably going to have to get rid of these in the next month because they will definitely not fit her next year but we are still having some warmer weather so I'm just going to fold them back up and keep them in the drawer for now but she is in desperate need of some pants but I don't need to buy too much for Quinn as we do have all of Rowan's old clothes so I am going to be going downstairs in the next week or two and looking for Rowan's 3T bin. I cannot believe Quinn is going to be in 3T clothing. She turned two at the end of May, but as I'm sure you guys know, I feel like the sizing is always small and I almost always have my kids in the size up for clothes. To get a little lost in everybody's business. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. I have definitely mentioned this in previous videos and probably more than once, but if you are not folding your clothes, especially your kids' clothes, in the KonMari type style of folding, I highly recommend it. It is such a space saver and you are just able to see everything that you have in the drawers. Nothing is getting shoved to the back or pushed to the bottom underneath everything else and I will never go back to regular folding. I also really need to go through the girls closet as well but I am unable to film it right now because where we have the beds positioned we can't fully get the closet doors opened I don't know if you guys remember me saying that in the makeover video but our plan is to take the doors off and then I think we're going to get some maybe tulle curtains with some twinkle lights just to make it look pretty and once we do that I will film it all and share that with you guys but here is the after of the drawers and as you probably noticed Rowan is in desperate need of some pants. She is not a jeans girl. She loves her leggings, so that's mostly what I will be buying for her. For what it's worth, I'll try to change. We can't fix our broken hearts. Loving me is not so goddamn. Now we are going to be moving on to Grayson's room and I'm sure you will notice he is just like the girls. He has been spending a ton of time in his new space and has collected a ton of toys in here. So I'm quickly just going to get all of the toys put back in the playroom before moving on to cleaning the rest of his bedroom.
keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on Now that all of the toys are out of here and everything is put back where it belongs, I'm quickly just going to go through and dust off all of Gray's furniture. I'm also going to be vacuuming his carpets before we move on to emptying out his dresser. Going through this footage, I am just so happy and excited about these bedrooms. I know I have said it in previous videos, but it just feels so good as a parent giving our kids a space that they can call their own and that they are so happy with. It does make me want to finish all of the spaces in our home. The only room in our house that is not done at all is our formal dining room. That has been on our list for quite a while and that will probably be the next room we tackle just because it is completely unfinished. We only have a table in there and I would love to make that a useful space. Then we want to do our bedroom makeover like I mentioned at the beginning of the video and again I know I've mentioned this quite a few times but I would love to tackle our kitchen. That is one that I have a hard time with though because we by no means have an ugly kitchen which is what you would usually redo but I would just love a white kitchen. I just don't want to regret painting it so it's a tough call. I have asked you guys in the past and a white kitchen usually wins the poll, but definitely feel free to let me know your opinion on that one. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion, how come I pass this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help, but if I'm on it. We are moving on to the next day and we are starting this cleaning day off in the kitchen. The kitchen, dining room, and living room were in desperate need of a really good clean and pickup and we are also going to be cleaning the floors with my Tinco because they were in rough shape. I can say yes to that Whatever way you want me I'll learn it all and I'll adapt Even if I changed up Everything except my name We will still be fighting Cause I am still the same I always purchase our baby wipes in bulk from Costco So I'm just running this box upstairs To get these stored in the kids bathroom Try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same, even though I change I have been doing a ton of shopping over the last couple of weeks. I have been buying a ton of seasonal decor. I've been getting some new clothes and I've also been purchasing some stuff for the house. So if you are curious to what I've been buying, I did do a haul at the end of today's video. So make sure you stay tuned until the end because I will be giving a little preview of all of the fall decor that I'm going to be putting out for next week's video. Effort, promise I would change some things stay the same wanted to do better wanted to be great but some things stay the same I don't want your persona I just want to be real with you tonight 
Now that we have finished clearing off the surfaces in the kitchen, before starting on the dishes, I did want to clean up the dining room because there were some dishes in there as well. I am starting off by just moving this extra chair back to the formal dining room. My parents were over for dinner last night and we just had the extra chairs. You will notice that we do keep five chairs around the table now because Quinn has officially moved up from her high chair to the booster seat. show you the auto paradise you tell me that you used to no dreaming but i'm gonna change it i did mention a little earlier that i was going to start decorating my house for fall this week which is probably the earliest i have ever decorated for fall i don't think i've ever decorated in august but i want my video to go up september 1st i feel like that would be the perfect day for my fall decorating video which will be next friday i am so excited to switch things up a little bit i'm just kind of itching to change it up i don't know if you guys ever get that feeling but i'm kind of over my regular decor and i'm just excited to start welcoming all of the seasons and the holidays that are coming up So now that Quinn is in a regular chair, I am struggling to fit five chairs around this table comfortably. It was definitely built for four chairs and it was just not something I ever really thought of. But now trying to get the five chairs to fit around it was a little bit of a struggle. I think I did make it look okay, but it's definitely not as nice as four chairs was. Now that we have the dishwasher emptied, I am just going to quickly reload it. I did not have anywhere near a full load, so I'm just going to add all of the dirty dishes that I have in the sink, and then I will probably start the load after dinner this evening. I have always used the method cleaner in the pink grapefruit scent and I got a three pack from Costco it had lavender pink grapefruit and the lime and sea salt and I think the lime and sea salt is my new favorite that's what I've been using today and it smells so good And since we are done with the high chair, I decided that I could take this downstairs as well. I'm still going to store it because we still like to use it for camping. Anything, 
Justin and Grayson had a haircut this afternoon and Rowan tagged along with them and after their haircut they went and picked up some more Pokemon cards feeding into Grayson's Pokemon obsession but they had already messed the table up and I just wanted to show you this clip because this is such real life around my house. I feel like the second I am finished cleaning in one area they are making a mess in the next and of course that is totally fine. That is what life is all about and I'm just so happy that they were having such a good day and some quality time with their dad. I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be stuck in more after I was finished cleaning all of the surfaces I grabbed my vacuum so I could quickly vacuum all of my area rugs While I was vacuuming the carpet in my living room, I did notice these large stains on my couch. I have no idea what they are, but I am just going to be using my Dawn Power Wash Spray to lift them up, and then I'm just going to scrub them with a warm cloth. I am overdue for a deep clean in my living room where I steam clean the carpets and the cushions on the couch and clean underneath my couch, so that will probably be coming in the next couple of weeks. I absolutely love my Tinko floor cleaner. It is such a convenient machine. It does vacuum and mop at the same time. I find myself easily just grabbing my vacuum and my mop and cleaning my floors that way, but I always forget how easy and quick this machine is to clean my floors. been doing quite a bit of shopping over the last couple of weeks. I'm getting a ton of stuff for back to school and some fall and Halloween decor and just some stuff for the house and I thought it would be fun to get this all taken out of the bags, sort it into categories and just give you guys a quick look at what I've been buying. I feel 
Okay, so now that I have everything out of the bags, I thought it would be fun to just do a quick haul. I don't do hauls very often, but like I said, I have been shopping quite a bit over the last couple weeks, and most of it is seasonal, which is always fun. And I got some back to school stuff, and I stopped at Bath and Body Works, so I just wanted to share what I purchased. I did grab a couple candles. I have not bought candles in probably over a year and a half, so I was excited to get in there. I got the sugared lemon zest. This one is a super sweet lemony scented candle. It's perfect for the kitchen. I purchased a marshmallow fireside, which is a repurchase for me. And then of course I got two of the cinnamon spiced vanilla. This is my all time favorite candle. I highly recommend it if you have not tried it. So, so good. And I love the minimal jars that they have right now. So got those four. And then I also purchased some hand soaps. Grayson was with me and he picked these two Halloween scents. I don't know what they smell like. This one was kind of like a candy scent and this one was vanilla-y, so they did smell good, but I just let him pick those for their bathroom. I got two of the Kitchen Mandarin. This is always a repurchase for me. The Pomegranate and Blackberry. Never tried that one, but it smelled really good. Cozy Vanilla Almond. And then also um, Cherry Almond Shortbread. Again, I never have tried this one before, but it smelled so good. So I grabbed three. I grabbed two for me and one for my mom because she loves almond scented anything. And that one was a really good one. So I grabbed her one. And then I went to HomeSense and I grabbed this cute pumpkin garland for fall. I always go for the oranges for fall. So I thought that was adorable. I grabbed some Halloween decor, probably for my office. I don't have a lot of stuff for my office for seasonal decor, so I just grabbed a couple things to decorate the shelves, and I think that all looks really cute together. I grabbed, or oh, these are for me. <laughs> I grabbed a bodysuit and just a little black cropped shirt for me, some toothbrushes, and some hair ties for Rowan, just because they just needed some more of them. I got Rowan quite a bit of new clothes for school. She is in need of t-shirts and long sleeves, so that's mostly what is in this pile. And then Grayson, I grabbed him some pants. I didn't get him a ton of shirts because he does have a ton. I went through and counted his t-shirts the other day and he had 53, so I didn't let him pick many out. I let him pick this one. Of course, it's Pokemon. Pokemon everything for that boy right now. He gets a lot of handy down clothes from his cousin, so he accumulates a lot of them. Um, I got them both a water bottle. I don't know where Grayson's is, so Rowan's is there. Gray needed a new lunch kit. They each got a pair of shoes, of course, for school. Rowan needed headphones, so she bought these ones. Very her, sparkly and girly. And then, oops, I knocked the water bottle down. The exciting part, which is the fall stuff. I thought this was so pretty. I wish it was a little bit more orangey, but I'll take it. This is as close as I could find to a burnt orange. It was $40 from HomeSense. This is going to go on my couch. I think it'll look so good on the gray. And then I got this one, which is also super pretty. Um, I like that it's very subtle, and I think this is going to be for my office chair. And I think this one was cheaper. I think this one was maybe $30. $30, $29, something like that. That one's so cute though. And then I grabbed some pillows. These are also for my couch, so I'm redoing my entire couch from my old fall decor. So I got two of those orange plaid ones and this white creamy knit one. So I will show you guys those a little closer up in next week's video. That's going to be my fall decorating video, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, I'm gonna get this all put away. I'm going to take the tags off all their new stuff and get that in the washing machine so it is ready for school in a couple weeks.
I did want to get all of the kids clothes washed and dried so they are ready for the first day of school in a couple weeks and I also want to wash the throw blankets so they are good for decorating so I'm just taking all of the tags off of everything before throwing it into the washing machine you're gone now well, you're coming back you know that you know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah I know that That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video all the way till the end. I truly appreciate it more than you know. If you did make it to the end of today's video, I would love for you to leave a little yellow heart emoji down below in the comments and I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye guys. Now that the adorable puppy footage is out of the way, we are going to get started on the cleaning. We are starting things off in my master bedroom and then we are going to be moving on to the master bathroom. I am needing to do some serious deep cleaning in there. I could not tell you the last time I scrubbed out my shower and it is disgusting. So we are definitely taking care of that today. I also cannot believe September is almost over. I absolutely love this time of year. It is definitely my favorite with all of the holidays coming up and just the slowdown that the fall and winter brings. I feel like summer can be so fast paced and chaotic for us and I always look forward to getting back to routine. Speaking of routine, I did just want to quickly share these back to school boards. I did share a photo over on Instagram, but if you do not follow me there, I did want to show them here. Grayson started grade one and Rowan started kindergarten and I always think it's just so fun to read the answers at the beginning of the school year and compare them to the end. But having both of my older two kids in school has been a huge change for me. Just being home with Quinn, I have a ton of projects and some big cleaning tasks I am wanting to complete now that I do have a little more free time only having one of the kids at home and I am going to be doing some major deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing over the next couple of months and I do have another room makeover in the works so get ready for tons of really motivating videos coming your way. I have had this peace lily for almost two years now and I am very proud of myself for keeping it alive. I am not very good when it comes to keeping real plants alive and that's a big reason I do have a lot of fake ones in my home but this is a real one and I have been taking very good care of it but as you can see there was quite a few dead leaves on her. She has been a little neglected over the summer so I wanted to just clean it up before dusting off this piece of furniture. These were just some blankets and mattress protectors that I took out of the camper since we are finished camping for the season and I washed them and they were just waiting to be folded so I'm just going to quickly get these folded and put away in the linen closet before we move on to cleaning the master bathroom. Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact Yeah, I know that mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you come home to me Once you've traveled the world, all the spaces Inside your heart I'll be your destination. 
now that my countertops are cleared off the next thing I am wanting to do is to spray down my shower so the cleaner can work and lift off all of the hard water and grime that is in my shower I do go back and forth between shower cleaners but I do always come back to this one I bought this spray bottle off of Amazon and I just do a mixture of distilled white vinegar water and the blue dawn dish soap this works so incredibly well to clean off the glass around my shower I have so much hard water built up on it I will show you a quick clip here and this also works really well to get all of the soap scum and grime off of the tile in here as well and this is something I sorry you can hear Mac he's fighting with one of his toys but this is what I always come back to when it comes to cleaning my shower I just find it works the best over any store-bought cleaner So I am just going to quickly spray down my entire shower and I do spray this very generously and then I'm just going to let this sit for about 20 minutes while I get the rest of my bathroom cleaned. clean my mirrors I am going to be using the method glass cleaner this is probably my favorite glass cleaner to be fair I haven't tried a ton of them so if you do have a really good one definitely let me know down below in the comments but so far I really enjoy using this one Now we are going to go through and scrub down my entire shower. I did purchase this fillable brush off of Amazon, but I'm sure you could find these probably even at the dollar store, which I would highly recommend because brushes are the same quality, whether you buy them at the dollar store or Amazon or Walmart. In my opinion, some people might not agree, but like I said, it is fillable, so you could even fill this with some more cleaner or you could fill it with water to help suds up the 
dried up cleaner again. I totally forgot it was fillable until I was editing this video. So you can see I do have a cup in my hand and I keep dipping the brush in. So that's slightly humorous that I didn't think about filling the actual brush up with some extra water. But like I said, I'm just going to scrub it all down and I'm just now going through with a cup to rinse the walls of the shower off. If you are still throwing water onto the walls of your shower, definitely try this way instead. You just fill a cup up up and slide it along the top and it rinses your shower so much easier and then I'm also just going to squeegee all of the extra water off just so I have no watermarks and dried up water streaks. I almost forgot to clean my bathtub so I'm quickly just going to be giving this a really good scrub down as well. I am using the same cleaning mixture for my tub that I did with the shower which is the vinegar, Dawn dish soap and water. We have not been using our bathtub too often which is why I forgot to scrub it down. It has been very unused over the last two months and it was still pretty clean but now that the colder months have started rolling in we are going to be using our bathtub a lot more often. I absolutely love taking a nice hot bath at the end of a cold day. It is such a great way to relax and wind down and I love to either read a book or even sometimes I prop my iPad in the corner so I can catch up on some Netflix shows or even some YouTube videos. I've been chasing you like the tail of a dog now we are moving on to the main floor and as you can see from these overviews it was an absolute mess down here so we are going to be getting started in the kitchen and then making our way around to the dining room and the living room I am going to start decorating for Halloween probably in the next week or two and I would love to know if that is a video you guys would like to see. I find that anytime I post a seasonal decorating video, they never do as well as my cleaning videos. So like I said, I would love to know if that is something you would want to see and you would want to watch. I do think it would be fun to switch things up a little bit and decorate for Halloween. I did just decorate for fall only what feels like a couple of weeks ago and I will probably leave a lot of that decor out and just add the pops of Halloween throughout my house. Speaking of Halloween, we actually went Halloween costume shopping a couple of days ago and the kids were overwhelmed and honestly could not choose one thing to be so we did decide to just come home and think on it for a couple days. 
I don't know what I want to dress up for this year. I always enjoy dressing up as well. I just think it's a lot of fun, but the costumes are so insanely expensive now. I just don't know if I'm going to buy a costume from the store or maybe DIY something at home. We also got locked out of my vehicle when we went costume shopping, so that put a little bit of a kink in our day and we did only hit up one of the Halloween stores. My key fob is dead and usually my car won't lock if the fob is inside the vehicle, but it was and I hit lock on the car door so it locked the keys in the vehicle. We ended up having to call a tow truck company to come and pop my door open so we could get back in. It was an hour of our time and a hundred dollars later for literally the 15 seconds of work they did but we got back in the vehicle but we did not want to go shopping anymore. We were ready to come home after that. But I am curious if you guys dress up for Halloween as well, or do you leave the dressing up to the kids? I had a couple of dishes left over that did not fit in the dishwasher so I am just going to quickly hand wash those so I don't have to put them in the sink and all of the dishes will be done. I did also finally purchase a new bottle of the Dawn Power Wash dish spray because my other bottle would not spray properly even though there was still a third of the bottle left so I decided to just purchase a new one. This one works much better and I'm just going to save the old one so when this one starts running low I can fill it up with the rest of the old bottle that I had Now that the kitchen and the dining room are clean, I wanted to just do a really quick power clean of the living room and the office.
I mentioned in last week's video that my girls have really been enjoying drawing and coloring on the toy box in the living room and as you can see it has taken a beating from that. They are getting a lot of marker and crayon on this toy box so I'm just going to be using a magic eraser to get this off. I always cut them in half to just save myself a little money because I find half of the magic eraser is always enough to get the job done. So as you probably saw in the last clip, the kids were just getting home from school. Justin always picks them up on his way home from work. And Grayson wanted to show you guys the update on his leg. If you are new here, he did break his femur back in April. And this is the scar he has been left with. He did have to have surgery and get a plate and 10 screws put into his bone. It was honestly one of the worst days of my life. It was a really hard time, but he was such a trooper and I am so proud of how he handled the entire thing. Honestly, the worst part of it all is that he does have to have a second surgery to get the plate and the screws removed, which of course, being a mom is extremely stressful. We actually have an appointment with his doctor on Monday to kind of find out what the deal is going to be with that. They do like to remove everything within six months to a year of it happening, so it probably will be happening sooner than later as October is the six month mark from when he broke it, which blows my mind. But that is going to be everything. I will keep you guys updated if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new one. Bye guys. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be an all day clean with me. My house was so bad this day that it honestly was starting to get a bit overwhelming. I did not intend on doing all of the cleaning in one day, but once I got started, I just wanted to keep going because it was honestly just feeling really good getting everything back in order. We are going to be starting off in the dining room area and just making our way around the entire house. As you can see, there is stuff on every surface. All of the floors are a disaster and everything was honestly just a mess. It was just one of those weeks where I fell behind in pretty much every area. We did go camping this weekend, so the housework definitely took a seat on the back burner. But there is so much motivation packed into today's video and I really hope you all enjoy it. I don't know why my floors were so messy. I mostly am going to blame this on Quinn. She is bad for just grabbing stuff off of the counter or the toy box and then she just kind of leaves it all over the house. She does not understand picking up after herself yet. I do also have stickers stuck to my floor and I could not get that sticker off. So I'm just going to leave that and get it off with a little bit of lemon essential oil a little later on. If you missed last week's video, it was my fall clean and decorate video and this is definitely the earliest I have ever decorated for fall. I did decorate the last week of August so I could get my video up on September 1st and it gave me a full month to enjoy all of my fall decorations because I do plan on switching to Halloween decorations on October 1st. This is going to be my first year really trying to decorate for Halloween and putting up a Halloween decorating video minus the front door because I do usually do something fun for the trick-or-treaters where they can see it, but I really want to do the rest of my house and I'm excited about it. But let me know down below if you decorate for Halloween as well because I do notice it is definitely not as popular as decorating for fall. Run away with me. 
I went to go unload the dishwasher and I completely forgot that I did not start it the night before. It wasn't full yet and I don't like to run my dishwasher unless it is full, but this honestly ended up working perfectly because I didn't have a ton of dishes left in the sink and they all ended up fitting into the dishwasher. So like I said, it kind of worked out perfect. I always like to use my Dawn Power Wash Spray to clean my sink, but as you can see, I was having some issues with it and my bottle is just broken. So I'm just going to be using the regular Dawn dish soap to give my sink a really good scrub. Once we are finished in the kitchen, we are moving on to the living room. It was not overly messy in here, so we're just doing a quick cleanup. And as I was bringing all of the markers and crayons back to the office, I noticed all of the papers all over the floor in here. So we're just going to be cleaning these up really quickly as well. Inside my head, emotions keep coming. They're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different. When I got my things in place, stuck in this commotion, how come I ain't passed this yet? I want to me to be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help, but if I'm on One of my favorite parts of my fall decor this year are definitely my throw pillows and throw blanket on this couch. I just find the colors to be so cozy and they just look really good with the gray color of my couch. Changed. Really made an effort, promised I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. Now we are going to be moving on to the entryway before we head upstairs to start working on my bedroom and the playroom. I don't really show my entryway too often, but I do find it to be quite a catch-all for us. We are really bad with just throwing our jackets and our shoes and anything else we are getting rid of right when we walk in the door onto the floor. So we definitely have to get better about organizing this space and just dealing with the stuff as we come in the door. I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right. These boxes here are just full of some of the fall decor I didn't use this year and also a couple summer things like my watering can. I'm just going to be reorganizing them quickly before taking them downstairs to put back on our storage shelves. We have two of these little alcoves or ledges 
at our entryway and I honestly have no idea what to do with these spaces. I do put some seasonal decor in these areas. I find them a lot easier to decorate seasonally, but I have no idea what to do with them for the rest of the year. So if you have any good recommendations, please send them my way. We have lived in this house for over five years and I have yet to do anything with them. So let me know down below because as of now, they are just a major catch-all and a shelf to hold my purse. I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. I don't wanna wait we are going to be heading back downstairs a little later on. I still have to vacuum and mop my floors, but I always like to do that once my kids are in bed. So for now, we are moving upstairs and we are going to be getting started on my master bedroom. This was probably the messiest room in the entire house. I have not cleaned my bedroom in over a week which is just embarrassing but like i said it has just been one of those weeks where everything has gotten away from me i also have started the project of going through bins of my kids old clothes and starting to donate stuff and find stuff that fits quinn that was rowan's old clothes and just stuff like that. I don't know why I add more to my plate when it is already a busy week, but sometimes that is just how I function and I work best under pressure. Sometimes I forget to breathe. I'm looking in your eyes. Wish you could see the things I see. Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up. Don't wanna wake up without you. You guys will probably start seeing a couple more glimpses of Quinn here and there throughout my videos. My older two kids have officially started school this week, which is so crazy to me that I have a first grader and a kindergartner this year, but I am trying to get on a better filming schedule. I usually film on the weekends when Justin is home so he can entertain the kids while I get my filming done, but I would love to be able to do all of my work throughout the week and then have the weekends off as a family. So that is what I am trying to do now that Gray and Rowan are in school. So it's just me and Quinn throughout the week while Justin's at work and and like I said, you will probably see her pop in here and there when she's awake and I'm trying to do my filming. Now my mind is filled with you. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. Baby with her. mentioned after we were finished the kids bedroom makeovers that I kind of want to do a master bedroom refresh video so I've already started brainstorming some things that I want to do and I was thinking of including a DIY shiplap fireplace on this wall here. I think it would look so beautiful and I can't stop thinking about it. I planned on maybe starting another project in the spring, but now I think we might tackle it a little earlier because I would love to enjoy a cozy fireplace in our bedroom throughout the winter months. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, I feel like, ooh, I feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. Ooh, it tastes like... 
now we are moving on to cleaning the playroom and my kids pulled this side table out and I just left it out because I saw what a mess it was beside the couch. So we're going to be tackling that area first and then moving on to the rest of the room. This room has been causing a lot of issues for me. It is so overcrowded with toys and things the kids have grown out of and don't even play with. So I am going to be doing a huge overhaul in this room probably in the next week or two because it has just gotten to the point where we can't find anything. And honestly, my kids don't even play with anything in here because they can't find all of the pieces to something or they don't even know what they have. This room is also so time consuming to clean up because I will find dishes that need to go down to the kitchen. I find recycling that needs to be taken to the recycling bag. There's blankets and teddies and toys and food. Honestly, anything and everything always ends up finding a home in this room and it's just super frustrating. I have been getting my kids to clean up the playroom over the summer. That's a big reason you guys haven't really seen me cleaning my playroom in the last couple of videos. They have been taking charge. It's been one of their chores over the summer months. And honestly, that's a big reason the room has gotten as bad as it has. Don't get me wrong, when they clean up, they pick everything off the floor, they put it in the bins. They just don't put it all in the correct bins, but I don't want to micromanage them. If I ask them to clean up and they're cleaning up, I don't want to boss them around, if that makes sense. So I've kind of just been letting them do their thing. But now that they are heading back into school, I'm going to get back into my routine and I am going to get this room back in shape because... I can't even tell you guys how frustrating it is being in this room and trying to clean it when I can't fit anything into the bins and the toys don't have a place and it's just super frustrating. I do not thrive in chaos and that is exactly what this room is right now. Those colorful eyes, they don't shine like they used to. The city don't want us, babe We won't survive this place The city don't want us The city don't want us And if I would lie and stay It wouldn't feel the same I did want to give you a quick close-up of what I was talking about with these bins. As you can see from this clip, the bench is completely overflowing with toys and the bins are completely full. None of the toys match. Nothing is in the correct bin and it is just absolute chaos. So we stay behind. Oh, oh. This room is definitely not perfect by any means, but this is honestly as good as it is going to get for today. So now that everything is picked up and cleaned up, we are just going to quickly vacuum all of the carpets in here before moving back downstairs to get started on the floors down there.
so this was quite a bit later in the day like I mentioned I like to wait for my kids to go to bed before mopping and vacuuming my floors mostly the mopping because I find almost every time I mop my floors when my kids are awake someone falls and slips on the hardwood so now I just make it more of a routine to end my night with that so that is what we are going to be doing now we're just starting back off in the entryway I'm just vacuuming all of the hardwood to get all of the dog fur off of it we're going to be vacuuming all of the area rugs and then we are going to be going through and mopping all of the hardwood on the main floor I do keep my mop bucket in my laundry room and that is where I keep a lot of my cleaners as well so I do find myself always forgetting to film myself adding the Mr. Clean to my mop bucket before bringing it out here to fill it up with the hot water but that is all I use to mop my floors I just use the original Mr. Clean and really hot water you said That is going to be it for today's video. This was a very productive day for me. I don't think I have had a cleaning day like this the entire summer, so it felt really good to just reset my entire house. Now that the kids are back in school, I am going to be getting back into a better cleaning routine. The summer is always so much fun and I find it can be very sporadic and unpredictable and I honestly love that about the summertime, but I definitely thrive on a routine and I always look forward to the calmness that September brings. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching it and I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and i will see you all next week with a brand new video bye guys hi guys and welcome back to my channel we are jumping right into the video today and getting started in my master bathroom this was my biggest task on my to-do list for this week and it is decluttering organizing and deep cleaning my master bathroom this room has been driving me crazy over the last couple of months. All of the drawers are overflowing. I have so many products that I don't use. Things are expired and I just have so much to get rid of. I'm also just wanting to clean it up and just make it a little more functional. We're also going to be doing some deep cleaning in here. I did get the Bissell Steam Shot recently and I 
love that thing. I am so excited about it. It is by far my new favorite cleaning tool of the moment and I can't wait to clean all of the things with it. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Aaliyah and I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single Friday here on my channel and I would love for you to subscribe down below before you leave today if you enjoy that type of content and if you are a returning viewer, I'm so happy to have you back for another video and I really hope you all enjoy this one. Before getting started on the decluttering and the organizing, I did just want to give my bathroom a really quick clean. As you guys probably saw, my countertops were a mess, so I just wanted to get all of the products and items put back in the drawers and areas that they belonged in, and then just wipe all of the counters down and clean out the sinks. As I was wiping down the mirrors, I did notice how dirty and honestly disgusting the light fixtures above the mirrors were. This is a very neglected area in my home. I rarely clean my light fixtures. It's just not something I ever think of doing, but I did just purchase the Bissell Steam Shot off of Amazon, so I thought this would be the perfect place to try it. I decided to just go through with a microfiber cloth first and just wipe down all of the dust and wipe the top of the the mirror and as you can see here there was so much build up here and then I realized I could just spin these light fixtures and take them right off and I knew this would make it so much easier to get them cleaned. It's silent now we don't say a word we're just looking at each other Tears in her eyes from the words we said Yeah, it kinda broke my heart Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving so here is a close-up of the light fixtures and as you can see there is a ton of dirt and dust caked onto these. I had no idea that these just twisted off and were able to come down so easily for easy cleaning so I am definitely going to be incorporating this into my yearly spring cleaning. I guess that we should say we're sorry. again don't give up we're holding on for what it's worth i'll try to change now that we have all of the lights down, I am just going to be laying down a towel onto the countertop just to protect it from the steam shot. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I just thought it made sense so it could absorb the excess water and steam as well. Once I had these down, I got my steam shot out. This took about two minutes or so to heat up. It really didn't take long at all. And then we're going to get to work on these lights. And like I mentioned earlier, this is definitely my new favorite cleaning tool. I absolutely loved it and it worked so so well I will show you a before and after of the lights I have the three that I cleaned side by side with the three that I had not cleaned and this is the difference you can see the one that has been cleaned is so shiny and clean and this one is still extremely dusty and dirty and it just made a huge difference I am very happy with this purchase <laughs> I 
and we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are Now that all of the lights are cleaned and back up, we are going to get started on decluttering all of the drawers in my bathroom. The first area we are starting with is my acrylic makeup organizer. This is a hard one for me. I have so much makeup in here that I no longer use and a ton of it has expired, but it's just so hard getting rid of products like this because as you guys probably know, makeup is very expensive and I don't like wasting anything, but you will see I have quite a a large pile of throwaways and it is a little bit refreshing and nice to get back down to the basics because I really don't spend money on cosmetics anymore. I only buy products that I really like and use. I'm not somebody who experiments a ton with makeup and it's nice to just downsize and really just declutter this space. As I'm decluttering and emptying out all of the drawers, I am cleaning and wiping the drawers out as well. I want everything to just be clean and fresh and just ready for another year. I don't have to go through and declutter very often. This is something I usually do only once a year during the springtime. I feel like it is the perfect time to just start tackling your house and it's an easy way to keep track of when you are due to do it next. Now that we are finished with the acrylic organizer, we are going to make our way down and start taking everything out of this top drawer. This is the drawer where we keep our toothbrushes and my hair ties and our nail files, all of that kind of stuff. They are in different compartments, so it's still organized and each thing still has its own space, but this is where all of that stuff lives. The first thing I'm doing is just taking everything out. I'm wiping the drawer down, I'm vacuuming it out, and then taking each thing out of the acrylics to clean those as well and then I'm just going through and deciding what I want to keep and what I don't. I end up getting rid of an entire garbage bag of products from this bathroom which seems so wasteful and sad but honestly a ton of it is stuff I have hoarded and kept for years and years and I finally just decided today when I was decluttering that I won't even notice it missing and just to get rid of it. I haven't touched this stuff since the last time I decluttered and that's when you know it is really Really time to go. I wish the space in these drawers were a little more usable. I feel like they're very deep and if they were half the size and split into two drawers, I could organize these products a lot prettier and just make it look a lot better. But this is what we're working with, so I'm doing the same thing, just cleaning out the drawers. And then I start putting the products back into the drawers. I do both drawers and you will notice I come back because I find some organizers I had in my closet and they did help clean up the space a lot. I definitely recommend getting some sort of acrylic organizers, even if it's just to put the products into them. It just makes it look a lot more neat and just helps categorize the stuff in the drawers a little easier. I 
I always find Quinn playing in this drawer while I am getting ready for the day. It's an easy way to keep her entertained and I just kind of let her do her thing so I can get ready. But somewhere along the way, she broke one of my extra makeup compacts that I store in this drawer and it made a huge mess. So I'm just going to be vacuuming all of that up and I had to wipe down every single product before I put it back in this drawer because everything was covered in makeup. And I'm stumbling through the dark in the dawn. So these are the organizers I mentioned that I found earlier in my closet. I think these are left over from when I was organizing the drawers in my office, but as you can probably see, it does just tidy the space up a little bit more. You definitely don't need the organizers, but I just think it looks a lot cleaner and just a lot more neat. I put all of my skincare products in the one organizer just to split it up from the hair products. And then in this bottom drawer, it is all of our extra stock of products that we don't currently need so any extra toothbrushes toothpaste the shaving heads all of that kind of stuff and the acrylic organizers just make it look a lot nicer in my opinion This drawer here is just all of my hair tools, so my hair dryer, my straightener, and my curling irons. I didn't really have to do any organizing in here, but I did just want to clean it out because it was full of hair. And then I'm just going to put all of the tools back into it. This drawer here is another drawer that I use for a lot of my overstock and products. I have some more of the perfumes that I own in here that I don't use on a daily basis. I have a little sewing kit and then some extra makeup brushes and things like that. So again, I'm not really doing too much organizing in here. I just wanted to clean it up and get rid of the things that I am not currently using. Now we are moving on to underneath the sinks and these areas are not too bad but there was quite a few products in here that have been here since the last time I decluttered and I still haven't used them so we are going to be getting rid of them today. I did have this white flimsier bin from the dollar store and I'm actually going to be taking all of the products out of here and giving this bin to Justin's side because he does have another one so at least they'll match and I got this acrylic organizer from HomeSense for underneath my sink. It fit perfectly perfectly with all of my products and it just made it look a lot nicer and cleaner than the white bin did. If you guys have a trouble area in your home that needs to be majorly decluttered and organized, which I know you all probably do, what room is the worst for you? I feel like this room was a big one on my list and also our pantry. Our pantry is so bad right now. I've been in the process and planning stages of organizing our pantry for so long, but for me, I would definitely say our master bathroom and our pantry. So let me know what room in your home is the most in need of a good declutter and organize down below. I don't know. 
After I was finished decluttering this bathroom, this was the bag of garbage I was left with. I can't believe how much stuff I was able to get rid of. A lot of this was expired and mostly used products. Usually I would try and donate what I could, but most of this stuff was not really good to anybody. It is stuff I have been hanging on to for way too long and it was better to just throw it into the garbage. Now we are moving on to day number two and this is the day I got the majority of my other cleaning done and the first thing I was wanting to start with was vacuuming off these stairs. They are so long overdue and covered in dog fur so I just grabbed my Tinko hand vacuum and I'm gonna go through and clean these up. You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact Yeah, I know that Before moving on to cleaning the kitchen, I had one more big thing on my to-do list that I wanted to get done and it was cleaning my washing machine. I am starting to notice a smell with my washing machine and that is how I know I am due to clean it. All I use for this is baking soda and good old fashioned white vinegar. I just fill the compartments with vinegar and a little bit of baking soda and then I do sprinkle baking soda right into the drum of the washing machine as well. I put a ton in here and I use the hottest cycle for the longest time and this works so well. I highly recommend it if you are needing to clean your washing machine. When you left, it was cold, said we loved one another. As always, I have a sticker stuck to my floor. I feel like I always have stickers everywhere around my home. They are one of my kids' favorite things and they always just seem to fall onto the ground and someone steps on them and they get stuck. So I just use my fingernail to scrape this off quickly. Our love was out of control. I have mentioned this in previous videos, but we were very late on the air fryer train and we received one for Christmas and I could never go back. We use this thing, I swear, at least once a day, whether it be for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and I would highly recommend investing in an air fryer if you do not already have one. They are the best. I 
finally decided to start bringing out some of my spring and summer Bath and Body Works candles. This is one I purchased a couple years back. I don't know if they still have it. It smells like a lemon cookie, which I love. It's just a very clean smell, but still has a very sweet scent. So it's a very homey smell and I really like it. I have not purchased candles, if you can believe it. In the last two years, I would say it has been a long time since I have purchased new candles from Bath & Body Works. I had such a collection in my laundry room and I have slowly been working my way through that. I have kind of come out of the mindset of wanting to accumulate a lot of stuff. I would rather keep things I really like and just use those up and that has kind of went with everything in my life, including my candles. So I have been using up the ones I have and I probably will go shopping for them this fall because that is when all of my favorite scents come out and just get the ones I really love to get me through the season. Sometimes the truth is hard to see But now the never, ever, ever seem to be over I saw So I'm happy I got freed we purchased our new dishwasher a couple of months back and I feel like it has been a while since I gave you guys an update on how I like it. We did get a Whirlpool one. We did go from Bosch and I absolutely love Bosch. That is still my number one pick hands down. If I could go back, I probably would just spend the extra money and get another Bosch. But we did go with Whirlpool and it has been fine. The last time I told you guys I wasn't really loving it, but I find as long as I use the hot cycle and the hot air dry it cleans and dries my dishes pretty well so I am happy with it but if this one ever breaks down I will go back to a Bosch Grayson is going to be out of his cast in less than two weeks, which honestly blows my mind. I feel like the last month has went by so quickly, even though it has been one of the hardest months, but he is such a trooper and he's out of it right away. He is terrified of walking, so that is going to be a whole new hurdle. He only remembers the pain of breaking his leg, so he is terrified of standing and walking and putting pressure on it again. It was very traumatizing and scary for him and like I said it's just a very scary thing for him. I have talked to a lot of parents who have had kids with broken legs as well and they said don't be alarmed if he's not walking quickly and if he's limping or if he's scooting around on his butt instead of wanting to walk. So it's all going to be normal and I know we will get through it. I might put him in some sort of physical therapy just to get him any help if he is needing it but I am looking forward to the next step and going back to our normal life. He will need another surgery to get the plates and the screws out of his leg but I don't think that's going to be for at least another four to six months. I think they want to keep them in there until the bone is strong and fully healed. But this brought me to my question of do you guys have any plans for the summertime? We are hoping to still get out camping and take a beach trip and do some fun things like that since he will be out of his cast and back to normal. But I would love to know if you guys have anything you are looking forward to or anything exciting happening this summer. Let me know what your plans are down below.
This is a room that you guys do not see very often and it is our formal dining room. We only use this room when we have company over for dinner but besides that it is mostly just a clutter magnet as you can see here. I am so bad for putting things onto this table since it is kind of out of sight, out of mind but I'm going to be cleaning this up right now and I'm also going to be measuring the area for a new rug because I know once I get this room finished and complete I won't be so tempted to put things onto this table. You will also notice I keep a lot of my cleaning supplies in here and we also have quite a few things in boxes. This is stuff that we have for the girls new bedroom and things we are just waiting to use so that's kind of what we use this room for. I love it and I know it could be beautiful but we are just not there yet. One of the last things that we are going to be doing to finish off this cleaning day is vacuuming all of the rugs and hardwood in all of the rooms that we just cleaned up. I do have two dogs and three little kids, so the fur and the dust and the crumbs accumulate very quickly around here. This was a lot later in the evening and Justin and I were just getting ready to sit down and watch one of our shows, but I wanted to quickly switch out our family calendar. I look forward to doing this every month and it's always nice to see a fresh month and the plans we have for the weeks ahead. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave me a purple heart emoji down in the comments so I know that you made it all the way till the end and I will see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye guys. Hello you guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be another huge bedroom transformation. We are tackling Grayson's new room this time and I am so excited to give him a special place of his own. Grayson did decide to go with a Pokemon theme which originally did make me a little nervous. I did not want to do a little kid type room as I do plan on these makeovers being a one and done thing. We are putting so much time and effort and money into them and we just can't redo them each time they change their minds on things they like. But with that being said, he was adamant about it and we of course did want him to have the room that he wanted and he is obsessed with Pokemon so we put a lot of thought into it and we found a way to make his room Pokemon themed while also still being very tasteful and something that will grow with him. I am so proud of the way this room turned out and I think you guys are really going to love it. We are starting the video off by just clearing out all of Quinn's stuff. As you can see, this was Quinn's nursery and I just needed to get all of the girl stuff out of here so we can get started on prepping for 
paint and moving on with the makeover. You guys all seem to really love the girls bedroom makeover video I posted last week. So thank you so much for all of the sweet comments and love on that video. Their room turned out so beautiful and I really wanted to give Grey just as nice of a space and I feel like we accomplished that and I can't wait to share it with you all today. All my thoughts are running Running around inside my head Emotions keep coming They're keeping me from thinking straight Thought it would be different When I got my things in place Stuck in this commotion How come I ain't passed this yet? I wanna me that be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it now that we have everything off of the walls and everything out of this room, I am going to be moving on to prepping the walls for paint. I'm just going in with some mud. I want the walls to be nice and flat and as perfect as I can get them. If I'm going to spend the time painting, I want them to look as good as they possibly can. So I'm just going through and filling all of the nail holes and all of the screw holes and any little bumps and nicks in the drywall. Once I was finished mudding all of the walls, I didn't want to bore you guys with too much prep work, so I'm just going to do a quick transition here, and we are going to be ready to start painting. I got all of the baseboards and the trim taped off, we sanded down all of the mud spots, and I also took off all of the outlet covers. I was really excited to start painting over all of the pink in here because of course this is going to be a boys room now and we did decide to go with Repost Grey by Sherwin-Williams. This is the grey we have throughout our entire house and I just feel like it is the perfect grey for our home and that's why we wanted to use it for Grayson's room as well. If you ever are feeling the itch to switch something around in a bedroom of your home, I would highly recommend starting with just a new coat of paint. Never underestimate the changing of a paint color because it makes such a huge difference in any room of your home, even if it's just a feature wall. I am a big fan of feature walls. As you can probably tell throughout my home, I feel like we do incorporate a feature wall into every single room. And I will say here, I did start painting this wall on the far side and you will notice me stop cutting it in because I forgot I was going to be doing this wall a completely different color so I didn't want to waste my time cutting it in with the gray but I want you close. Now that we are finished cutting in the bedroom, we are moving on to my favorite part of painting, which is rolling. I always love watching the rolling footage sped up. I feel like it is so satisfying and I wish it was this quick in real life. Painting this bedroom probably took me about four hours between cutting in and rolling and it did end up needing two coats of paint but I won't show you the second coat of paint just because the first coat is what really makes the difference and I don't want to bore you guys with too much painting footage. If you have not yet seen my girls bedroom makeover video, I believe I posted it two weeks ago, I would highly recommend going and checking that one out as well. It is such a a huge transformation and I am so proud of what we did in that room. I will have it linked down below in the description box and I am just so excited to have both of these bedrooms completed. They are two huge projects that I felt like were just looming over us and now we can finally move on to the next room. So 
this was a couple days later and I finished the two coats of gray on all three of the walls and now we are going in to do the feature wall the color for this wall is carbon copy by bear this is the exact same color we used in our office I loved it so much in there so again we decided to bring it into this room as well and with what we had planned for the decor and the wall pieces I knew the dark color would just make the colors that we had coming into the room pop that much more I've tried sometimes but you're making me nervous no I've realized that I can't live without you Even though this is such a dark color over such a light one, I still do two coats of paint. I feel like no matter what colors I am painting a wall, I always like to do two coats just to make sure everything is covered and it looks as good as possible. So this was a couple days later and this was after I finished painting the second coat and we are just going to quickly remove all of the tape off of the walls, put the outlet covers back on and then we can move on to the most fun part which is bringing in all of the furniture and starting to decorate. I don't think we got enough time Sort out all the fights, yeah. sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down. I laughed so hard while editing this because it looks like Justin grabs Quinn and throws her across the room, but I promise you that is not what happened. Whenever we grab her or try to move her, she will fling herself onto the floor. Everyone was fine. We were all laughing, but I did just want to make sure I said that because it does look a lot worse than it was. Gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard. We didn't have to buy any furniture for Grayson's room, which was really nice. He already had a really nice bedroom set with the matching nightstand and the dresser. So we saved a lot of money with this makeover with not purchasing furniture. And we did actually DIY almost all of the decor in this bedroom. I'm really excited to show you guys once we are finished with building the furniture, but I am so proud of how we styled his room. No, no no more, no, no. We don't know, no, us no more. We don't know, no, us no more. We don't know, no, us no more, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, down, down. Baby, going down. I did end up purchasing Grayson the exact same box spring that I purchased for the girls beds. It is a low profile one and I love the way his fits into his bed frame. The entire box spring is pretty much covered by the base around the bed frame and I really wish the girls looked like this. You guys gave me a ton of great ideas in that video on how to cover the box spring 
And I did end up ordering a couple of white fitted sheets off of Amazon, and I'm hoping those cover the box spring perfectly. I had a really hard time finding a bedding set that I liked. I really didn't want something that was insanely colorful and very little kid looking, if you know what I mean. I wanted something that would grow with him and was tasteful. And I found this one on a website called Bright and Roomy. I had never heard of them before, but I ordered it and I absolutely love it. It is a dark color and it has the Pokeball on it, but the Pokeball is made Made up of the shapes of all of the Pokemon characters and I just thought it was super cute and he really liked it and it honestly was exactly what I was going for. So now we are going to be moving on to all of the wall decor, which I am so excited about. I purchased these Pokemon prints off of Etsy and we just got the digital files and I had Justin print off the actual copies onto some canvas. I had so many questions about when we did this in the playroom, I did some of these canvas prints in there and the way we were able to print on canvas is Justin's parents actually own a sign and deco shop so they have some huge commercial machines and one of the machines does print onto large rolls of canvas so we do have the machines that we are able to do things like this. I don't think it's something you could do from home but you might be able to go somewhere like Staples or to a local sign shop in your area and see if they would be able to do this if it is something you are interested in. I personally love the look of the canvas, especially on the black wall, but if this wasn't an option for me, I would just print these onto cardstock or paper and put them into some nice frames. And if you were wondering what those red lines were across the wall, it is just a laser level. Justin was using it to try and hang these prints as straight as possible. Lining up six prints like this is very hard to do by eye, so having a laser level was a lot of help. Now that the prints are hung and his bed is made, we are moving on to the biggest project of the entire room. I found this Pokemon shelf online and I didn't want to pay the astronomical amount of money that they were wanting for it, so I thought maybe we could try and attempt to make one. And I will say we did an amazing job. I don't want to toot our own horn, but we really nailed this and I am so proud of how well this 
this turned out. Props to Justin because he honestly did 90% of the work. He cut it, as you can see, freehand and he made the perfect circle and he cut all of the pieces out. And like I said, I am just very proud of how this shelf turned out. I'm just giving you an overview here of all of the pieces he cut out and I'm going to go through and prime them all with just some white paint just so the wood doesn't peek through. And once the priming is done, I'm going to use a can of spray paint to paint each different color because we need the red, the white, and the black for the Pokeball. It must be nice you went and got a penthouse on your friends. Party in this real loud. Brand new money with a brand new chest. Still a baby bird price right off the nest like you. Also, please ignore how messy our garage is. That is a project for another day. You will notice I am doing a very thin coat of spray paint for my first coat and honestly I probably didn't shake the can enough looking back at these clips but it all works out in the end don't worry it definitely pulls together after I get about the third coat of paint on them but I will say I would never use spray paint on a project like this again i would not recommend it i originally got the spray paint because i thought it would be the best way to avoid brush strokes and texture on the shelf but it caused us nothing but issues we went wrong from the second we purchased it we bought glossy spray paint which was way too shiny we did not like the way it looked so we did try to buy uh, top coat it was a satin top coat and that ended up leaving a residue over the paint especially the black it almost looked whitewashed it was so frustrating we had to repaint a lot of the pieces multiple times and it just was not exactly what we were expecting in the end it does all look fantastic and it did pull together but it was quite the headache you will notice my outfit change multiple times as we are painting and working on the shelf and it is because it took us so many days to get the paint right <laughs> Those colorful eyes, they don't shine like they used to. The city don't want us, babe. We won't survive this place. The city don't want this. The city don't want this. And if I would lie and stay. Now that everything is painted, we are going to start putting the Pokeball shelf together and putting these shelves on was so stressful. You will also notice we're wearing gloves and that's another issue with the paint we were having. The black paint was leaving fingerprints even though it was drying for over a day and we just did not want to wait any longer. I wanted to throw the shelf together so I could get this video up. This is the biggest holdup we had and this is why this video didn't go up last week. It was this shelf causing us so many headaches but like I said the shelves were so stressful to try to get even and level and flat because it is going on a circle it was just really hard to measure everything so we were kind of just eyeballing it and doing the best we could with measuring it out and it did end up turning out perfect and I am just so happy with how it looks in the end. You will also see my face here. I accidentally moved the shelf and I didn't want to tell Justin. He already had drilled the pilot hole and measured everything out, but luckily I only moved it a tiny bit so it didn't make any difference. And if I would lie and stay, it wouldn't feel the same. I won't lie, I, no, honestly. Doesn't feel like home, like home. 
you will see me grabbing some containers and boxes to rest the shelf on. It was extremely heavy since it was solid wood and I couldn't get in there to hold it up. It was very awkward, but luckily we were able to balance it on the shelves to get it hung. We did just drill this directly into the wall and we just made sure we hit the stud since like I said, it was heavy. And then I'm gonna go through with a little bit of paint to cover the screws that we used to drill it into the wall. Now that the shelf is on the wall and the screws are dry, we are going through and just collecting all of Grayson's little Pokemon characters and his Legos and all his little tins and collectibles and we're just setting these up on his shelf. You will see him beside me as we do this because he of course wanted a say on where everything goes. purchased this lamp from HomeSense and I think I'm going to do the same thing with this lamp as the girls have with theirs. If you saw their makeover video, they have some flowers and butterflies with little magnets attached so they can kind of decorate the lamp as they choose. I'm going to try and find some little Pokemon figurines. The only one we have right now is this Pikachu, but I'm going to glue some magnets onto these so Grayson can also decorate his lamp and it's a great way to customize a lamp Lamp, but then as he gets older he can take the magnets off and the lamp can still be used. My mom got Grayson this Pokemon poster that lists a ton of Pokemon and she actually put it in a frame which I love because now it looks like artwork instead of just a poster. I also purchased Grayson a new laundry basket. I wanted to switch this one out for the dinosaur one just to have something a little more neutral. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments what your favorite part of Grayson's new room is. If I had to choose one thing, I would probably have to pick the Pokemon shelf just because we did make it and put a ton of effort and love into it and I am very proud of how it turned out but let me know down below what your favorite piece is. Okay, you guys, that is going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I am so happy with how everything turned out. And I'm honestly so happy to be done both of these bedrooms. These things have taken up all of our free time over the last six to eight weeks. And I'm just so happy they're done and we can move on to the next project. The kids are also so happy with how everything is and honestly, that's all you can ask for and that's all I wanted. But thank you again for watching and I will see you all next week with a brand new video.
guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a very realistic clean with me this is also kind of my weekly cleaning routine you will notice my outfit change multiple times throughout this video and that is because I did film this video throughout the entire week and only cleaned one or two rooms each day this is a much more realistic way for me to clean as a busy mom of three I know I show you guys the all day cleans or the whole house cleans but on the average week I do not have an entire day to just dedicate to cleaning and I usually have to chip away at it each day throughout the week so if you are struggling with keeping up with maintaining your home, trust me, you are not alone. I know sometimes when you watch these types of videos, it makes it seem like we have it all together. But in reality, I have a never ending list of things to do and messes to clean and... That's just how it goes. But thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I really hope you enjoy this one. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. Speaking of keeping it real, I am going to slightly embarrass myself by showing you this corner where my microwave is. I do not understand why this is such a catch-all for us and honestly why I have let it get this bad, but we are finally going to be tackling this area today. I do cut this area out of my frame a lot when I film my videos because this area looks like this probably 90% of the time, but now that we have it cleaned, I am determined to keep it like this. I really need to get better on putting things back where they belong the second I am done using them. As you can see, we have collected a ton of stuff here and honestly, most of it was just garbage that I needed to throw out and things we needed to donate. So there was really no excuse for it all to be hanging out in this area and I am so happy that this has finally been taken care of. I do plan on making this corner a coffee bar. The only thing stopping me from doing it right now is we would have nowhere to put our microwave. So we are going to install an outlet in our pantry so I can just keep the microwave in there and then I can make the corner beside the fridge a coffee bar which I think would look so perfect in this area and it would give me just a little space to add some decor into the kitchen. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Even if we go all out and break us down You yeah, could work it out Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Even if we go all out and break us down also wanted to share with you guys some really exciting news. We have decided to get 
a new family member. We did purchase a new puppy and we are going to pick him up this weekend. So I am posting this video on Friday and we are going down to get our puppy on Saturday. I am so excited for this new chapter for my family. If you guys have been here, you guys know that we lost my dog Roscoe on June 29th of 2023. So it has been a couple of months and it's been a really big struggle for our family. I have had Roscoe my entire adult life and it was just such a loss. I honestly can't even begin to explain it. I couldn't believe the hole that it left in my heart and we've all just been really missing him and really struggling, but we have come to a time where we can welcome a new baby into our lives. I was actually very surprised when we kind of started throwing out the idea of getting a new dog on how much that brought the grieving process back. I really went through a hard time. The last couple of weeks and even like talking about it now, I'm getting a little bit emotional, but it brought everything back and I don't know. I just had a really hard time with it, but I know this is the time for our family and we are all very excited for this next chapter. Roscoe will never be replaced, but we are ready to grow our hearts and welcome a new puppy. So I am so excited to introduce you guys to him and share him in next week's video. I would love to hear your guesses down below on what type of dog you think we are getting. We, like I said, have already purchased him and we are just waiting for him to be eight weeks old so we can bring him home. I will share, of course, in next week's video and show you guys and share his name and all of that good stuff, but I would love to hear your guesses on what dog breed you think we got down below in the comments. Now we are moving on to day number two of cleaning and my only focus for this day was cleaning up my kids' bedrooms and we are going to be starting off in Grayson's room. Gray is always making his bedroom his own. He always loves to cover his nightstand with his favorite cards of the time. And I did decide to just put those in his nightstand so he can set them up later. But when I did, I noticed all of this dirt and almost dried leaves in his nightstand. It almost looks like he picked flowers and had them sitting in here and all of the dirt and dried leaves and petals were left behind in the drawer. So I just grabbed my vacuum to quickly vacuum this all out before putting the cards back into the drawer.
now that we are finished cleaning in Gray's room, we are going to be moving on to the girls room and we are just doing the same thing in here. I just want to get everything off of the floors. There are clothes and toys and stuffed animals everywhere. We're going to be making their beds and of course dusting off all of their furniture and vacuuming their carpet. I mentioned back in the girls bedroom makeover video that we do plan on taking the closet doors off of the closet and putting up some sort of tool curtains with maybe some twinkle lights but it is just one of those things that is taking a seat on the back burner. I don't know if it's just the season of life we're in or what it is but I feel like our to-do list is honestly never ending. I feel like we accomplish one thing and something else pops up and it's just a roller coaster the way things are going. I'm sure a ton of you know the feeling that I am talking about but I just feel like we are forever busy and I do honestly love this season of life and I'm sure it's just what comes along with being a parent of young kids and just owning a home and working and just doing all the things but I just wanted to share that it is coming sooner than later getting these closet doors off but again it's just one of those things that is going to take me a little bit of time. Now we are moving on to day number three and the one and only thing I was able to accomplish on this day was cleaning my kids bathroom which was desperately needed as you can see it is kind of gross in here the only area I did not have to clean was the tub because I did scrub this down a few days prior but I did not have a chance to clean the sink area and the floors and all of that stuff. So that's what we're going to be tackling today. I find the days or weeks that I am super busy, I do give myself one or two cleaning tasks. So I still feel like I went to bed accomplished because I was able to complete them. And I really try not to overwhelm myself too much with the housework when I have a lot of other things going on behind the scenes. I'm feeling down, I don't know why, I know it's so surreal, think I want you here. Oh, 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 I don't ask for much, no, I don't need that much, yeah. So I am using the Scrubbing Bubbles bathroom cleaner to clean off my countertops and I have only used this once before on the counters. I usually use it to clean my bathtubs and my showers. I do really like the way this cleans but I will say if you are using it on your countertops you definitely need to rinse it off afterwards because it does leave a lot of streaks. I did not rinse it thoroughly enough and I just noticed a lot of streaks left behind. Baby, I 
Since it is September and it does take us a couple months to use up a soap, I decided to break out one of the Halloween soaps for the kids' bathroom. Now we are back downstairs and the room we were cleaning this day was my living room. I was mostly just picking up all of the toys and the arts and craft supplies. My girls have been loving standing at the toy box here and doing their drawing. It is not my favorite thing because they are getting markers and crayons all over the toy box, but I'm trying not to sweat the small stuff because I know I will be able to get it off with a magic eraser and they really do like spending their time together, standing here, drawing and coloring. So this was another day and one of the last days of the week and the project I was wanting to tackle was cleaning out my fridge. We were in desperate need of getting some groceries and some school snacks for the kids but I had no idea what was in my fridge and what was going on. As you probably saw in that last clip, I pulled out a paintbrush and a roller that was at the back of my fridge. When I am doing a painting project, I do keep my my tools in the fridge that is just something my parents taught me and I'm honestly not sure why I'm assuming it's so it doesn't dry out as quickly and I can just resume painting the next day but these are from when I was painting the kids bedrooms which was honestly probably months ago and I didn't even know they were in here because my fridge was so full so it was definitely time to clear it out and see what I had going on so I could start a grocery list and get the shopping done for what we were really needing.
So now that the main area of the fridge was cleared out and wiped down, we are going to go back in and put everything that was still good back into the fridge. I did unfortunately throw out quite a few things and I absolutely hate wasting food, but that is what happens when I don't go through my fridge on a regular basis and this was definitely overdue. Once I was finished putting everything back, I did run to Costco to get my grocery shopping done and I do share that grocery haul at the end of today's video. So we just got back home, me and Quinn, please ignore the mess. That is just real life. I clean the entire house and this is what it looks like immediately. But we just got home from Costco. Quinn is having her lunch. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> the big kids are at school, but I thought I would do a Costco haul. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I will just start off on this side. We got some drinkable yogurts. These are the kids' favorites regular yogurts to add granola to or fruit. I got a two pack of the basil margarine, some red potatoes and a big bag of onions. I don't know if we'll use all of these, but they were a really good price. So I just grabbed those. We got some steak. We have not had steak in so long. It was $56 for the four of them. Um, that's not a great price, but we've been craving steak. And like I said, we haven't been buying it due to the price. So I decided to get some. We grabbed a two pack of the Black Forest ham for the kids' lunches for school. I grabbed a big pack of the Magic Erasers. These were also on sale. I got a bag of cucumbers. These are Quinn's favorite. I have the three pack of whole chickens. I've never purchased these before. Justin wants to try a couple recipes, so he's going to be using those. I got the lean turkey pepperoni sticks. The kids really like those. Some bell peppers, some baby bell cheese. Again, the girls really like these for school. Well, Rowan, I guess. Quinn just likes them at home. I got the kids vitamins. They're just like the little gummy bear vitamins. I got some mushrooms, a boneless pork shoulder. We love to smoke this or use it for like our own sweet and sour pork. It's really good. A huge pack of eggs because we go through those very quickly in this house. Um, a two pack of lotion. Justin likes this unscented one to use on his tattoos. We got some of these. These are so good in the air fryer. So these are a nice lunch or a really quick and easy dinner. Some green grapes. Some toothbrushes because Justin and I need to replace our current ones. I got a bunch of bananas. A two pack of Drano. Some dishwasher pods. These were also on sale. I got these little bites. My kids have actually... Oh, what happened? Oh, it's frozen. Okay, one sec. Her show is paused because I can't have the music in the background. I got these little bites for the kids for lunches. Two packs of the chocolate muffins. These are really good. And some toilet paper. So all of this, it was, this is probably one of my smaller Costco hauls I've probably ever done. And I still think I spent over $400. Hang on, I'll grab my receipt so I can check. Yeah, it was $416 for all of this stuff, which is outrageous in my opinion. We did get a couple meats and toilet paper, but I, I don't see $400 here. But that just seems to be the way it is these days. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping once she finishes her lunch, she will go down for a nap. She does only nap a couple times a week these days, so I'm hoping for the best. But I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes or so just putting all of the groceries away, and then I'm gonna sit down and start editing this video. But again, thank you so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below, and I will see you all next Friday with a brand new video. Bye guys. Can you say bye? Bye. You can wave? Bye. <laughs> 
Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an all day clean with me. I ended up getting so much done and I was very happy with how productive the day ended up being. I did want to start the video off by just showing you a quick overview of the kitchen and the dining room because that is where we are going to be getting started today. Then we are going to be moving on to the living room where I am wanting to tackle some deep cleaning. I really want to move the couch and clean underneath there because as you guys know, it is always such a mess with three kids and two dogs. And then I am going to be deep cleaning my area rug as well. We finally got our concrete patio done in the backyard. So I will show you guys a little clip of that if you are interested in seeing it. But before finally getting the concrete poured, it was just a dirt pit out there. So as you can imagine with two dogs, my area rug definitely took a beating. It was so dirty and there were just stains all over it. So that was definitely on the top of my to-do list today but thank you so much for being here and I really hope you all enjoy today's video a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back I ended up making a trip to the dollar store yesterday to stock back up on my dish sponges and my dish brushes. The dollar store is the only place I will ever purchase brushes and sponges from because they are so much more inexpensive there compared to any other store that you could buy the exact same products. If you guys saw my post last week, you would have seen that my entire house got knocked out with a bug. All five of us were out sick and it was a very rough week to say the least. Luckily, we are all feeling better, but that is why I did post a marathon last week. I actually did have this video filmed and ready to go, but I just did not have it in me to get it edited. So thank you so much for your patience and understanding with not having a new video last week. So the good news is, is that we are all feeling much better this week, but the bad news is that Justin actually went and played basketball yesterday, and while he was playing, his knee gave out, he heard a pop, and he was in so much pain. He thinks that he did tear his ACL or his LCL or one of those muscles or ligaments and it's just not good. He is not optimistic about it. He is actually at the doctor's right now when I am doing these voiceovers just to see what they can do and get done. I believe he's going to go for x-rays and probably an MRI. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do, but I am so sad for him he is in so much pain and he actually can't walk as of right now luckily we did have a set of crutches in our basement from a previous injury he had but he is in rough shape and i really think it's going to be a rough couple of weeks around here
said things could only get better I need it more than ever They don't, don't, don't As I was wiping down the table, I did notice a bunch of stickers stuck to my hardwood, so I wanted to quickly scrape these off while I was thinking about it. So I did just grab my little plastic scraping tool to help me get these off a little easier. We do have a very busy month this month. October is always one of our busiest months. And now poor Justin with his leg, it is going to be a little bit of a rough one for him, but it is still going to be so much fun. We do have a Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend. I believe it is October 10th this year and then next weekend we are celebrating Rowan's fourth birthday we have both of my parents birthday this month and of course Halloween at the end of the month so lots of fun stuff going on we did also pick our Halloween costumes and I'm really excited for that Justin and I are doing our first couple themed costumes where we kind of go together and then of course the kids picked what they wanted to be they were not interested in doing a family theme this year which is of course 100% okay so they're doing what they want to do Justin and I are dressing up together and it'll be a lot of fun if you are interested in seeing our Halloween costumes and just kind of more daily updates on what we have going on definitely head over to Instagram and follow me at Aaliyah Martins I do post a lot more of a daily basis you can see little sneak peeks of Rowan's birthday party and just other things that we have going on so if that is something you are interested in definitely make sure you check that out down below Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, words that we can't take back. We are the reason. Now that I have all of the toys picked up off of the floor and off of the couch, I am going to start moving all of the pieces of my couch out of the way so I can work on cleaning underneath them and getting my area rug cleaned. I can help the way I feel for you. You make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in a endless fight like every night It still feels I did actually do this a couple of months ago So underneath the couch wasn't looking too too bad There was some sand and toys And actually a couple of plates underneath here So I'm going to get all of this picked up before we vacuum and mop my main thing I was wanting to get done was the area rug. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there has been so much dirt in our backyard and it has been getting tracked into the house from the dogs. So this rug was so disgustingly dirty. I will show you guys the carpet cleaner water once I am finished. It was so, so dirty. It was almost black. So I was really excited to get this done and off my to-do list. friend where have you been where have you gone what did you Thank 
both my stick vacuum and my carpet cleaner are Tinko products. I absolutely love my Tinko products and I would highly recommend them. If you are in the market for a new vacuum or a carpet cleaner, I do have them linked down below in my Amazon storefront. This is the beat of broken hearts, is it our lost? We can't go on again Cause you seem like you want it bad My head is spinning off the edge And I'm giving it way too fast, way too fast This was the dirty water after cleaning my carpet and as you can see it is absolutely disgusting it is almost black in color and it just feels really good to get all of this dirt out of my rug I did want to give the rug a little bit of time to dry before putting the couch back onto it so I decided to head upstairs and get started on Grayson and Rowan's room. I wanted to get Rowan's bedding into the washing machine and then I am just going to be remaking her bed with the clean set that I do have and then moving on to cleaning the rest of the room. love giving you guys recommendations whether that be for books I'm reading or tv shows I'm watching and also if you have any recommendations I love getting those as well feel free to leave any good recommendations in the comments below I read through all of them and I always check them out whether that be books shows movies whatever you guys have been loving lately but I wanted to give a quick book recommendation it is a book I just finished reading it was called On a Quiet Street by Serafina Nova Glass and this book was so good. I really enjoyed it. It kept me on my toes the entire time. So if you are looking for a new book to read or something to listen to on audiobook, definitely check this one out. Perfect just like you are At least you can try Start to let go Take a night up and let yourself go a little crazy
to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. I smell your breath, not listening, but I still hear you screaming. Going under, one step away till you hear what I'm saying. Sounds like thunder, and the clouds are closing in. You see, I know this, but the last days in real life I've noticed. This was a little bit later in the day and the rug still was a little bit damp, but it was almost dry. So I decided I wanted to just get the floors mopped around it. And then we're going to be moving the couch back into place before it gets any later in the evening. More like the river Growing stronger When we're alone There's no you in the picture Made by numbers Isn't how I wanted to You see I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus Breaking up from our life we still have so much work to do in our backyard, but we are saving all of that for next year. We want to lay down turf. We want to stain our fence. We want to plant some trees. And then of course I'm going to be decorating and furnishing our patio, but here is our patio as of now. It looks so good. I am so happy with how it turned out. It's kind of hard to tell in this clip, but it is a very large size and I am just so excited to finally have this done and I'm even more excited to get to use it next year. Whenever you call what you say, you're nothing but a gold ring. To be true, say I do, but you're no one. We're stuck between the lines. The last area I was wanting to get done today was my bedroom. I'm just going to be polishing all of the furniture, vacuuming the carpets, and then I also have a huge load of laundry to get folded, so we're going to be tackling that as well. That I will be
actually had two baskets of laundry sitting clean waiting to be folded in my bedroom for the last couple of days so I'm finally getting to it today sometimes I am on the ball with laundry and I will get it all done washed folded and put away in the same day but most of the times this is more what it looks like I will have a basket sitting in my room or the hallway or somewhere else in the house waiting to be done Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. I should let it be But I'm gonna dive Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright To let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive Dive into you it doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it Every time that we touch The room caught on fire We could blame it on the wine But we know that we would both be lying I wish I did That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here and spending this time with me. I appreciate it more than you know. Please leave this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and leave me a comment down below. Also, do not forget to check out the Fetch app. I will have that linked as well and I will see you all next Friday with a new video. Bye guys. Hey everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my fall clean and decorating video of 2023 and I am really excited to be sharing this one. We are going to be starting the video off on my front porch. I just wanted to take a couple minutes out here to get rid of the flowers, sweep off the steps, and start putting out all of my outdoor fall stuff. This part of the video was filmed on a really nice and sunny day, but after we are finished out here on the porch, the rest of the video was on such a rainy and gloomy day, and it was honestly the perfect weather to get my decorating done. I have really been looking forward to fall this year. I absolutely love summer, but I have been craving a change and some chillier weather, sweater and soup season, and of course, all of the holidays that follow. But I hope you all enjoy today's video and thank you so much for being here. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I found this pumpkin welcome doormat at Michael's and I could not resist. I thought it would look perfect against the black and white plaid mat I have underneath. And then I am putting out this galvanized pumpkin pail. I purchased this a couple years ago. I want to say I got it at Home Depot and I fill it every year with these pumpkins I purchased from the dollar store and I just spray painted them myself when I bought them. I went with a cream, an army green type color and an orange. I am somebody who loves to go with the classic oranges for fall. I say that every year and I just never seem to stray too far away. The creams and the oranges, the reds and yellows, that's definitely the colors I tend to gravitate towards. So that is what you will see a lot of throughout my decorations. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. I will 
will keep on searching for my heart. So now we are moving on to my main day of decorating and like I said it was a super chilly and rainy and gloomy day outside and these are honestly some of my favorite days. I just find them to be so cozy so I decided to turn on my fireplace, grab all of my fall decor from the basement and get started on decorating the rest of my house. So we are going to be starting off the indoor decorating in my office and this is one of my favorite rooms in the entire house and I don't actually do a ton of filming in here. It is usually kept pretty clean and doesn't need a lot of attention. So when I am switching out the decor, I always love to take the opportunity to get some filming done in here. I am just starting off by taking all of the greenery off of the shelves and all of the kids crafts and paperwork that has collected over time and once that's done we're just going to wipe all of the shelving down before moving on to decorating with the fall decor. In and out of love, never get enough, we never seem to get older. When things are going right. You seem to have the time, but when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The word you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The word you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. It's First things first, I'm switching out my It's So Good To Be Home Mickey sign and I was going through the heads I have for this and I had the orange one that said thankful and the Halloween pumpkin one. I don't actually have one that is specifically for fall so I did decide to go with the Halloween pumpkin Mickey head. Been here a thousand times, set up a stage of lights, say we're done, say it's over. So I'm going to be adding my favorite candle in here which is the cinnamon spiced vanilla and I just thought the colored jar of this candle went perfectly in this candle holder. I definitely kept it pretty simple in here. I just wanted to add some pumpkins and some pops of orange to bring in the season and I am really happy with how this side has turned out so far. I'm not adding too much to this side of the shelving because I do have a lot of the kids crafts and picture frames and I didn't want to take those down. I'm also adding the blanket I shared in last week's video onto my office chair. I purchased this from HomeSense and it's very subtle but I love the burnt orange that is throughout the blanket. Now we are going to be moving on to cleaning and decorating my dining room and this is always one of my favorite areas to decorate for the seasons and holidays. I always love to decorate the hutch and mirror area and I am so happy with how it turned out this year. So 
like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I definitely gravitate towards the oranges and reds and yellows for the fall time and I just have a hard time straying away from those. I do include a little bit of the creams and browns as well, but I definitely am a traditional girl when it comes to the fall colors, but I would love to know down below what colors do you choose to decorate with when it comes to fall. I know a lot of people like the neutrals and I've actually seen a lot of the blues and greens, so I would love to hear how you are decorating your home this year for the fall. Every year I put this pumpkin warmer out, I do get a lot of questions about it and I did purchase it from Scentsy probably five to seven years ago so I have no idea if they still have it or if they sell something similar but I'm just going through all of my Scentsy bars to pick a good fall scent and I did decide on the blueberry cheesecake. My entire family absolutely loves this scent and it is definitely one of my favorites. I really love this metal tiered tray and for most of the filler for it, I am just using little acorn branches and little leaves to really tie in fall and like I said, just kind of as a filler to really fill the tray. I'm super happy with how this ended up looking in the end and I love that the metal from the tray ties in really well with the metal pitcher on the other side of the cabinet. I also purchased this fall centerpiece from HomeSense this year and I thought it was the perfect addition to my dining room table. It was a little tall so I did end up cutting off a few branches and a few leaves just to trim it down a little bit. Now we are moving on to decorating and cleaning my living room and I was really looking forward to decorating this room this year because I did get a ton of new pieces for it. I got all new throw pillows and a new throw blanket for the couch and I also got some really cute knitted pumpkin garland and I was really just excited to get it all in here and see how it looked together. Love like this would leave. So these are the little pumpkin knit garland. I thought these would look great on my fireplace mantle. And then of course I also have my changeable truck. I love changing this every season and fall is one of my favorites. I'm also going to be setting this on the mantle and it's just the perfect little pop of fall in my living room.
now it's time to decorate the couch and I'm just grabbing all of the new pillows I purchased. I also have a couple of ones from the season before. I'm just going to be taking the tags off all of the new ones and I did wash the throw blanket in last week's video. I always like to wash my blankets and clothes before we use them. These are the pieces I'm going to be using to decorate the couch and I am so happy with how this ended up looking. I really wanted to get some new throw pillows for my couch this year. That was the number one thing on my to buy list for the fall and I'm just happy with the ones that I found. When did the magic stop for? I really love this white knit pumpkin pillow that is sitting on the blankets. This probably does not stand a chance staying here against my three kids, but I really do love the way it looks. Now we are going to be moving on to the kitchen. I don't really do any decorating in my kitchen for the fall time, but as you can see, it really needed to be cleaned, so that's what we're going to be tackling next. If and when I finally get the coffee bar I am wanting, I would definitely decorate that for the seasons and the holidays, and hopefully by next year, that is going to be an option for me. I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but I have been using the Method All-Purpose Cleaner in the Lime and Sea Salt scent, and this is definitely my new favorite, and I do think it's the perfect scent going into the fall. Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Now that the dishwasher is empty, I'm going to load it back up with all of the dirty dishes that were in my sink. This was not a full load, so I'm just going to hold off on starting the dishwasher until after supper tonight when I knew I could fill it up with all of the dirty dishes from dinner. I am not somebody who likes to run a half load of dishes. It just kind of feels wasteful to me and I know I will always have a full load by the end of the night. I'm acting surprised. But I know I'm not over you I keep missing a fight Even though this is over dude. We had a fire Now we're watching it burn low Isn't it time, isn't it time we go Our separate ways Not enough time, not enough time I'm falling behind, falling behind I hate to separate my 
Now that the kitchen is clean, I did want to add a couple finishing pops of fall into my home. This is our half bathroom that is on the main floor and you see it right when you walk into the front door. So I did want to add a couple things to the countertop so it just looks inviting and festive. I do have this piece. I don't know if this would be called a floral piece, but I paired this up with this little pumpkin sign and I thought it looked so good together. And I'm also going to be adding another cinnamon spiced vanilla a candle into the other corner just because they smell so good I'm also going to be adding a couple festive throw pillows on the front entry bench at our front door and a hay bale piece to bring in the fall but that's going to be it for today's video I am so happy with how everything turned out and how cozy my house is now feeling I really hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and let me know down below in the comments what color scheme you are going with to decorate your home for fall and i will see you all next week with a brand new video bye guys 